Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Tuesday, craft day. Uh, I'm sorry I missed you all on Friday, but after living in Southwest Florida for 34 years, uh, we have learned not to panic over potential storms, but to also take them seriously and get ready and prepared. Uh, I want to thank you all for the wonderful comments, prayers, thoughts, good well wish wishes for us during this time of potential storms. And obviously, as you know now, um, we did miss the storm, or the storm did miss us. And so we need to pass all of those prayers and good wishes to those who are living in the northern Gulf states. Um, they're going to get pretty big storm I think out of Laura and so we want to wish them well and hopefully we don't have a lot more of these although they say it's supposed to be an extremely active hurricane season so keep our fingers crossed and say a few prayers for those living up in the northern Gulf something I heard by the way on TV this morning because we live on the Gulf of Mexico that I thought I'd just pass on probably ha has no meaning whatsoever but um, I don't know if there'll be any impact at the gasoline pumps the gas pumps in and and if there is how soon that would occur but this storm is actively uh, speeding right through all of the active oil fields in the Gulf of Mexico so there could be some disruption in supply just some food for thought Anyway, and anyhow, let's get on to some happier things, and that's making a nice puffy uh, fall wreath to go in my family room. And <laughs> I have to show you a little bit of my family room. Maybe I can do that today, if not today, uh, on the next video. What has happened is that my husband, who loves his TV, has decided that he needed to buy a new TV. Not that we didn't have five of them already, but he likes his TV. He's 80 years old. He's earned the right to get the TV he wants. And the TV he wants is 85 inches. Hello? <laughs> well, we have a perfect spot for it. But it has made for some uh, redecorating, removing a table, one of the tables that we had in the dining room we're, we're giving to Habitat of Humanity and the table that was in the family room is now going to be in the dining room or is already in the dining room. So anyway, and anyhow, we have been moving TVs upstairs, downstairs, in one room, out of the other room and for the exception of one TV I did it with my husband, the two of us did it together and I gotta tell you it's a killer I'm getting too old for this and those TVs, especially the one that we put down where I am now, it's a 55 inch and it's a plasma TV and plasma TVs are heavier than a bag of cement <laughs> on each arm anyway. So uh, my color scheme for the family room was going to be the blues and uh, creams but because now we've taken the red couch from the living room and put that in the family room and the blue couch from the family room and put that in the living room hello <laughs> um, having to change it up so we're going to make a pretty traditional colored wreath to go in the family room and uh, we'll get busy doing something pretty for the other room in a little bit so let me get you down to the table and I'll show you what we're going to do I'll be right back hang in there Okay, we're going to do a poof with a ruffle. This is my wreath form. I got this from Craft Outlet. And let me just show you, when you're using the wreath forms like this, the elevation on the side of this wreath form is, I would say, a good two inches. It goes up and then in, and so you get a, a lot of depth on your wreaths when you use these, as opposed to your Dollar Tree ones which make a nice wreath, they really do, but they don't have the dimension, I guess you would say, that uh, this kind of frame does. I'm going to be using a poly jute mesh and some pretty orange, brown, and beige striped mesh. 
and so let me get these out of the way temporarily and we'll pull this over let me see if I can bring you down a little bit more I think that does it I'm going to open these bottom ones there are 18 ties on this 10 on the bottom 8 on the top and that is the standard amount on a 15 they call this a 15 24 meaning that this part right here is 15 inches but when the wreath is finished it's closer to 24 inches all right, let's get started here. This is a poly jute mesh, and I got it from Craft Outlet. And I'm gonna start this right here before this tie. And I'm just going to go around And we're going to start our poofs. Raw edges underneath. <laughs> and I'm making approximately 10 inch poofs and my favorite size to make. That one open. Keeping the raw edges underneath allows you to put your hands in the poof and poof it out. bring it up to the next one and if it starts to get so that these raw edges are not you have to just check them make sure you put them back underneath and the poly jute is kind of a stiff mesh So it will hold up as a nice shape. around twice because I am going to come back in with a ruffle. like that we're almost around to the beginning
one more. The one that we skipped. And there you go. There's the outside already. Takes no time at all. Okay? Now I'm going to take this mesh, gather it up nice and tight. I'm going in between these two and I'm going to go right up top here. Get another zip tie and go around the rail. And I lost the other end. <laughs> oh, it went through the mesh. There we go. just go and open these top ones. I don't open them all at the same time because then they interfere with each other. All right, we're going to go right over here. my loose end came up to the top. I've got to get it back down to the bottom. In fact, I'm going to undo this one and there we go. Just get that underneath there and then tie it up again. How's everybody doing otherwise? <laughs> you know, I thought of um, something that's a little silly, but if you go to think about it, I think the manufacturers of lipstick are selling as much because, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to choke myself. If you're like me, you don't put lipstick on if you're going to put a mask on. First of all, nobody's going to see it. And secondly, all it does is get all over the inside of the mask. Last one. It's 
So, I think of these silly things sometimes. Now I'm going to cut off this mesh. And get another zip tie because I dropped the one I had. But take this and we'll push it right down through this frame. Here it is on the other side. Take a zip tie, go around the frame. And now I can actually trim that a little bit more. And there you go. Look at that. You have to kind of go back and re-poof some of these because I turned it upside down. All right. Perfect. Beautiful. Beauteous. Well, and I made the mistake of wearing black. Now I have little pieces of jute all over the front of me. <laughs> okay, let me get out the ruffles and we'll start on the ruffles. I cut these in 20 inch strips. Makes a little butterfly. That's pretty. Add some nice color since the jute is very plain. I'm going to do two or three more and then I will finish the bottom row and come back when we're ready to do the top. I just, I did one on the top already, but. And you spread them out, it sort of makes them look like a flower.
Okay, let me um, finish this bottom row because then I can turn this fan on and blow it on me for a few minutes and I'll be back when we get ready to do the top. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I still have the fan going and when I edit this, if it's too loud, I'll just do a voiceover for this part because uh, it's just too hot down here not to have it going. This is pretty. I'm loving this already. Oh. Mesh. Mesh sticks to itself. You know, it's pretty, and the, the beige part of this kind of disappears. And it's not bad that it disappears because it actually then allows the orange to be the focal color, which is really what you're aiming for with this. So, is that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. All right. Couple of, whoops, I see a couple of little stringers here. I'm going to get off. My phone is beeping me. I think that means lightning has been detected in your area. It happens every time, every afternoon at this time. I have this little sign that says, Hello, Fall. I'm going to try to put that on here somewhere. And all I'm good, this already has, has a pipe cleaner on one end, and I think I have wire through it, but the wire's not there. This, uh, this came from the Dollar Tree. Okay, I got the sign on. I had to answer the phone. So when I came back, I just put the sign on. Now what I'm going to make here is a few of those what we call shoestring bows. And I'm going to use this just to hold it. What I'm doing is overlapping them so they look like uh, breast cancer awareness, okay? Then I'm pulling this down and pinching it together. And I'll put it down on here. I don't want to put ribbons in every one. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this ribbon. And I'll make just a smaller one. Bring it down. Pinch it together. put it on top of the other one. Okay. We'll take that. Right here. 
don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can move down a little bit here. Okay, let's do another one. Cross them over, push it down, and squinch it up. And we'll do this one, cross it over, pinch it down, I'm going to do a little bit bigger loop, okay, down, pinch it together, and there you go. How easy is that to make a bow? Now, let's put one over here. And I think we'll do one right here. All right, now I'm going to make a big bow for at the top, and we're going to call that enough. So I think I will start with this one. And I'll use the bow maker, it just makes it go quicker. Six inches. This likes to just all roll up, <laughs> of course. Okay, twist it. Hold on, let me get this up out of the way. Now I think you can see. Now I'm going out to six inches on this side. Twist it. This ribbon, obviously, you're going to have to uncurl when you get it made.
One and two and three. We'll do four. I guess they're still out there working on the lawn. <laughs> they always seem to work on the lawn as soon as I start filming. All right, now we'll put a couple of these. And we'll do up crash bang in the way. We'll do a little more of this one so it matches our other ribbons. You know, I'm going to make this one by hand because I want the trucks to go in the same direction. So I'm go this way, pinch it, then I'm going to come up from the bottom and pinch it. Down from the top, pinch it, up from the bottom, pinch it, and cut it off. Just lift this up a minute, and I'm going to put it on this way. There. Now my trucks are facing me. All right, let's get a zip tie. underneath all of it. Get the zip tie started. Pull it off. And put a pipe cleaner in. One second. Pull this around the back, put a pipe cleaner in, tighten this up, twist it, 
twist and pull. All right, I'm going to get it on the wreath, and we will finish fluffing it. I'll be right back. There you go. Finished. <laughs> Came out really pretty. I like it. I like the subtle orange, and you can still see the mesh well. And look how dimensional it is with that frame. And these little bows are cute. And the sign. And the big bow. And that's probably right where it's going to stay. Okay, I'm decorated for fall. <laughs> I'm going to back up for a second. I don't back into something. And I'm going to show you over here. Here's the door. And then over here is like a little alcove. And that's where the 85 inch TV is going. So when we get it, I will be glad <laughs> to share it all with you. <laughs> it won't be here for a few weeks. So anyway, I'm so happy you stopped by. Uh, give me a second, I'm going to make a few closing remarks. Be right back. So okay, here I am back upstairs. Oh my goodness. It's a blessing to get into the central air, even though I have a fan blowing on me. I don't know if you can see the back of my hair, but it's soaking wet oh, from being down there in that heat. But anyway, it's fun to make something pretty and I can put up with it for a little while. So my husband's out playing golf in this weather. Good for him. And he's 80 years old. But that's a passion, and a passion, when you have a passion, you know the heat doesn't bother you as much. So, anyway and anyhow, thanks for stopping by today. If it's your first time here, and you'd like to come back and see uh, whatever else I get into, please hit the subscribe button and the bell, and you'll get notified every time when I put up a video. And if you're one of my regulars, thanks so, 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 so much for stopping by again. I so appreciate all of you. I want you all to stay safe and play by the rules. Take care of those kiddos. Make sure they're safe in their environment, whether it's at home or at school. Wear your mask. Keep your distance. And everybody, play nice now. I'll see you Friday. Love you. Bye-bye.